It's very common for the seller to pay off the solar loan at the end of escrow. So you will have your solar free and clear. I would say that happens around 60 to 70% of the time. In this current market, it is very common. If you're looking for a really good breakdown of the cost of living in Southern California or in Temecula more specifically, uh, just search my channel, Cost of Living, and I have a couple videos where I have broken down every single bill we have and what it costs us to live in Temecula. And that will give you a really good range of what it's gonna cost. The only thing that's really gonna change would probably be the housing. Now, in regards to moving all the stuff you have in your home from, depending on how far you are, my suggestion would be bring the things that are important to you and when you get here, purchase the things at garage sales, Facebook Marketplace, there are some really good opportunities to buy nice furniture, nice accessories for whatever you need for the house at a fraction of the price. I would guess moving is almost going to be more expensive if you're bringing these things than actually uh, you know, getting a smaller truck, bringing it out here and purchasing the things that you need once you get here. Okay. Yes, there are areas of California that I would not live. There are areas of California that are horrible, but Temecula is a small city that is very safe. You can walk around at night. The only problems I ever hear about really, for the most part, are when you're in Old Town past 12 o'clock, nothing good happens anywhere. So just be aware of that, that other than that, I have never had an issue uh, I've never had once had a situation where I did not feel comfortable. You know, Marietta is a great city. Menifee is a great city. Uh, Wildemar is a great city. Winchester is a great city. It just depends on many factors of what city is going to be the best for you. And we can go over all of that.